um, in this video I want to show you how to solve adjacency matrices and they're also known as root matrices and it involves a network or a graph so that's what you see on your left of the video so as you can see there's a little bit of a network going on there so networks involve nodes or little dots as well as roads or edges um, those are the lines that connect the dots together um, as you can see in this picture here we've got one two three four different nodes labeled a b c and d and you've also got your roads so as you can see there's a few here going on we've got different roads that connect all of them and sometimes it helps to actually refer to these as um, friends perhaps or in that kind of scenario so in this case you can say that there are four friends a b c d and the relationships that they have so for example person a knows person b through two different connections or two different ways perhaps um, however a doesn't know d because there's no line going to it and they don't know c either however Perhaps A only knows C through B. And we'll get onto that in a second, um, in a few videos later. But for now, I just want you to think of it as people who know each other. Okay, simple as that. And what we can do is actually create a matrix based on this. And based on the relationships of the networks that they have, we can create a matrix. So, what I'm going to do is to show you how to do that. So, I'm going to write two and from and basically we're going to look at how many ways does they do they sorry know the next person okay so let's look at a this is our main focus okay so let's see how many roads lead to a well there really isn't any that lead to a in one way because we're looking at one way matrices or one way adjacency matrix Okay, so there is no real one direction way. There's only the only way we can get to A again is through another road. So we this is one way. However, we still need to go back and we won't actually be able to make it back to A in just one road. So we have to say that there are zero ways to get to A. Sometimes you might see um a network that has something like this and it leads to itself. However, this network doesn't so we can't say that let's look at the next one so let's look at a to b well there are actually two routes that can go to there so that's the first one here and our second one so we've actually got two different routes that can lead to b okay so let's look at our next route so let's look at a to c well there's only one possible way which is through two different roads that's not a one-way matrix there's two ways to get there so we have to say that our number is going to be zero there's no direct route to get to C so there is no road let's have a look at D is there any roads that lead to D no there isn't one so again we're gonna to have to put a zero there as well all right so let's look at our next one here so let's look at our next row B Let's see how B knows A. Well, you know what? They actually know A pretty well. They can go through two different routes. There's two routes there, so I could put a two here. Let's look at B to B. Well, is there any routes to itself? Well, if it looked like this, it would, but it doesn't. So we have to put a zero here. Let's look at B to C. Well, there is one route, direct route to C, so that's one. And there's also a direct route to D as well, as you can see. So again, that's another one route. Let's look at C. Now C, can it connect to A? Nope. So we've put a zero here. So you might find it's very similar to here. So if you look at C and A, it's also zero. Zero A to C is also zero. If that makes sense. So there's only really one road connecting them. So you can either go to um, A to C or C to A. And obviously there is no road connecting it at all. 
So let's have a look at the next one. So C to B, well, there is one root again. C to C, again, there is no root, you can't connect it to itself. And lastly, C to D, there is one direct root that gets you there. Last row, so let's go from D now. So we're starting at D. So D to A, is there any roots? Nope, so that's a zero. Is there D to B? There's one direct root, one. Is there a direct root to C? Yep, there is one. And there is no direct root to itself, so that's a zero. So what you can see is that there is actually a leading diagonal. So remember a leading diagonal means that there are zeros all along the diagonal of the matrix. It's a leading diagonal, okay? And what you also might find is that it's symmetrical, meaning that along this line here, this leading diagonal, there is the same numbers on both sides. So let's, have a, let's kind of observe this a bit more, okay? So as you can see, there's a two and a two, zero, zero, zero. It's a zero, one, one, zero, so it's symmetrical. There's a one, zero, one, and there's a one, one, and then there's zero again. So as you can see, not only is there a leading diagonal for one stage matrices or one way matrices, it is also symmetrical. So symmetrical and also got a leading diagonal. And that's what's really important here. And just to recap this very quickly, this is a one stage adjacency matrix or one stage matrix. Um, and it basically shows you how many direct roots so only through one road or one edge, how many ways to get from point A to B or two different points, okay? So that's how we do a one stage adjacency matrix.